Hi, good morning to you all, my dear student friends. In the previous class, I do explain detailly about the life cycle of the plasmodium in the human beings and the different stages that includes in the life cycle of the parasite in the human beings. Also, we studied in a detailed way, and that includes like a erythrocytic cycle as well as here hepato here cyto organy such a kind of all the stages we happen to see in a detailed way. Thereafter, in today's session, I'd like to here explain in detail the life cycle of the parasite, how it takes place in a mosquito. As you all know that the mosquito is the primary host where the sexual reproduction of the plasmodium it takes place. Then, what are all the different stages here that passes through in the sexual reproduction of this plasmodium in a mosquito? Let us see now in a detailed way. Coming to here, the infective stage of the mosquito are nothing but here gametocytes. Here you have to keep one point in the view. I said in the previous session, the infective stage of the plasmodium to the human beings is nothing but the sporozoite. Then here the infective stage of this plasmodium to the mosquito is nothing but gametocytes. Then I said here in the erythrocytic cycle, here how the gametocytes are get formed. When the sufficient number of gametocytes are formed, actually these gametocytes wait for the primary host, nothing but the mosquito. Since here the human blood pH and temperature is not suitable for further development of the gametocytes, then they do here get transferred to the another host where the low pH and low temperature is maintained. That is nothing but the female Anopheles mosquito. So whenever the female Anopheles mosquito it bites the malaria patient, then all the different stages of the plasmodium or get enter into the mosquito body. So among with along with all these here uh, different types of uh, the gametes uh, stages here two important stages that enter into the mosquito body they are nothing but the gametocytes, and these are all here the two gametocytes. I said detailly at the end of the erythrocytic cycle. Here it forms two different types of gametocytes. One gametocyte is small in the size with a large nucleus. We call it as here microgametocyte, and that is present in your red blood cell. Now this is a microgametocyte that is present in your red blood cell. He will write right. It enter. Thereafter, into which again the macrogametocyte, which is larger in the size, whereas here smaller in the nucleus, and here it has got the larger nucleus, and this is with a smaller nucleus with a large size. Then we call this stage is known as macrogametocyte. Along with these here micro and macro gametocytes, different stages. They are all the tropozoic stage and signet ring stage, amoeboid stage, shy joint stage and all these stages they do enter into this mosquito crop or the digestive system along with their blood. But very interesting point related to this is, except these micro and macro gametocytes, rest of all the stages that I here listed just now are all get digested by the mosquito because it is a digestive system. It releases a digestive enzymes. These digestive enzymes digest the rest of all the stages of this plasmodium, except this micro gametocyte and macro gametocyte. The very interesting and important point related to this: these two are not. Get digested because of anti enzymes are present within these two. This is the point to be noted. Since the anti enzymes are present in these two, here they do not undergo to the enzymatic actions, and that is here carried out within the crop or digestive system of a mosquito. These two it remains. Now what happens in this? Here the sexual cycle of this plasmodium it triggers or it gets starts in the crop or the digestive system of the mosquito. Now what happens in this micro gametocyte? Let us see now. Now this micro gametocyte here undergoes to exflagellation. It's a very important point. Then what happens in this exflagellation? Let us see now in a detailed way. In this 
actually the nucleus that present within that it get divides and it forms here almost all 4 to 8 pronuclei will be formed and these are all the pronuclei in such a structure will be formed later on here when you see these pronuclei are get here pushed to the periphery of this cell meanwhile the cytoplasm present within this is again here protrudes out in the form of flagella see this a flagella like structures are get formed Now what happens here the cytoplasm present within that is here pushed into this flagella like structures. Now whatever the pronuclei are present here these pronuclei also get entered into this flagella like structures. This entire phenomenon or the process that is carried out within the microgametocyte is known as exflagellation. It is an important here point. exflagellation now here slash like movement it takes place in this resulting of that these flagella like structures are get relieved or here released from this part resulting of that finally it forms such a here slender type structures are formed these slender like structures here are known as male gametes this is actually a male gamete So this is the way the male gamete will be get formed. Then when you see this one, this macro gametocyte here it undergoes some changes. Resulting of that changes within that here it forms here a specialized structure. This structure is known as here female gamete. Here this is what we call as the female gamete and since this is undergoing to some changes in order to form this gamete the entire process here is known as maturation is an important thing this is what this entire process is known as maturation then what do we call the process here that helps for formation of the male gamete then it is known as exflagellation the process of formation of the female gamete from this macro gametocyte includes maturation process resulting of that the female gamete will be formed later on this female gamete undergoes to some more changes and the cytoplasm and nucleus is here protrudes out to one end resulting of that it forms a specialized here structure that we call it as fertilization cone so this is the way the cytoplasm is here pushed to the one end and here it consists of even the nucleus also here is another important bit related to this this cone like structure which is protrudes out is known as fertilization cone is one important thing now here this is actually the end of one of the stage of sexual reproduction cycle then what is happening at the end of this process at the end of the process one here specialized cell is get produced that is a male gamete and whereas the second one is also get formed which is known as a female gamete so here my point is formation of gametes or formation of male and female gametes is known as gametogamy. So this is the first stage of the sexual reproduction cycle of the mosquito. So as of now we discussed here gametes are get formed. This entire process is known as gametogamy. Then what happens next to the gametogamy? The gametogamy it leads to the fertilization. So whatever I said here, this male gamete produced, it reaches here to the female gamete 
particularly at the site of the fertilization cone. So, this is a cone like structure at which here the fertilization is taking place. That is the reason why this particular area is known as fertilization cone. So, here it meets this uh, gamete at this site. Now what happens? If you see the gamete here, male gamete, the male gamete consists of here one pronucle and even the female gamete also here, it consists of one pronucle. Meanwhile, the two gametes consist of the cytoplasm also within these two. Now the two pronucle of these gametes are get fused with one another and meanwhile the cytoplasm present within these two also get fused with one another. Resulting of that here one zygote which is in a diploid condition will be formed. This process is known as syncarion. It forms a syncarion. See the structure now. Resulting of which here a diploid condition containing here a specialized structure will be formed. And this process is known as syncarion and resulting of that here a diploid condition here zygote will be formed. Now this entire process is known as the second step of the sexual cycle known as fertilization. Then here if you see the zygote at the initial time it is a circular inactive and non-motile. But after 28, 18 to 24 hours span of time, this is another interesting here the point again. This zygote which is circular and here inactive form, get turns into long slender and warm, warm here shaped a structure. Like this it gets here modifies. See so long here slender active motile warm like here structure it get a transforms at this condition this is particularly known as wookinite wookinate this one and at this time actually if you can observe this one this is actually the wall of the crop of the mosquito this warm like structure now pyrsis pyrsis in the sense penetrate into the wall of the gut of the mosquito and here it settles down or it settles beneath the basement membrane of a crop of a mosquito now it comes here and it later on settles down here this one underneath the basement membrane in the wall of the crop of a mosquito it, it stays so during that time it secretes certain kind of here the enzymes and it forms a thin layer around that this is known as encystation formation of the cyst here present and even the cyst is get covered by a envelope or a thin layer and this is known as encystation at this condition this particular structure is known as oocyst oocyst is one thing right in this oocyst now what happens let us see now and during this time this actually process is known as formation of wookinite as well as here oocyst wookinite is otherwise known as here vermicule the another name for this is vermicule now during this time here it remains there within this it gradually here increase in the size it consists of here the cyst around that now you have to keep one point in the view in the entire life cycle of the plasmodium this plasmodium is present in a diploid condition in only two stages this is a very important and keen point that need to be observed first one here it is a zygote which is in a diploid condition wookinite is also in a diploid condition oocyte is also a diploid condition only these two stages particularly are in a diploid condition rest of all the stages of the plasmodium parasite are in a haploid condition that you need to here remember carefully now what happens here this here whatever the nucleus is present now within the nucleus 
meiotic division it takes place it is a one more important point meiosis is a kind of reductional cell division it takes place so that here two nuclei will be formed in which here the number of chromosomes are reduced to half then repeated whenever the meiotic division takes place it forms more number of nuclei that you can see here and which in which here you can see more number of nuclei will be formed and this is actually get covered by here assist a layer is present within that and in the next time what happens this every every here nuclei will be get surrounded by some amount of cytoplasm they are all get surrounded by some amount of the cytoplasm in this stage this is known as sporoblast this particular structure is known as sporoblast then here this sporoblast now here get a transform into a sporocyst here it get a transforms into the sporocyst within which here all these say, the sporo joints are get arranged like this now these are all the here sporo joints at this condition this particular structure is known as sporocyst now division of the nuclei and here followed by cytoplasmic division is known as sporogony it's an another important here the process this entire process is known as sporogony the sporogony part of the cycle is actually the asexual cycle in which here the division of the nucleus followed by the cytoplasmic division it takes place now once here the sporozoites here sporocyst is formed here the sporocyst consists of the sporozoites and these sporozoites are here breaks down here this one the sporocyst now it breaks down and releases all these here sporozoites into the hemocoel that is a one more important point so all the sporozoites after rupturing or breaking of the sporocyst are released into the hemocoel of a mosquito then in the hemocoel they do become again the slender one thing and thereafter here sickle shelled structures and these here sporozoites now they do get to transform into the salivary glands salivary glands of the mosquito and they do here now infect this one and enter into this salivary glands and they do store in the salivary gland still this here the female mosquito identify a human being and when it bites then it releases the saliva and along with the saliva the infective stage of this plasmodium that is sporozoite this one is the sporozoite it enter into the human blood stream again the story it begins i said the total life cycle of this one in the human being in the previous session the same thing it takes place once the sporozoites are get enter into the human blood stream it's a very important a beautiful here phenomenon exhibited by this uh, uh, this uh, malaria here causing the mosquito when the mosquito bites then without clotting the blood of a human being when it bites and here sucking the blood this mosquito releases a specialized enzyme which is known as anophilin it's a very important thing anophilin is a name of enzyme that is present in the saliva of the female anopheles mosquito which doesn't allow the blood to clot blood clotting will be get obstructed because of this anophilin enzyme so this here sporozoites are enter into the human body and they causes here the disease so this is actually the entire life cycle that takes place in the mosquito body 
ओके रिगार्डिंग द लाइफ सैकिल आफ द प्लास्मोडियम इन ए मस्किटो ऐस आफ नो ऐ एक्सप्लेन इन डीटेल डयग्रमेटिकली द सेम थिंग हियर ऐ डू रिपीट हियर इन ए डिस्क्रिप्शन वे सो दैट इट विल बी मोर क्लियर टू यू सो एज ए सैड हियर द स्टेज ऑफ द प्लास्मोडियम एट विच इट एंटर्स इन टू द मस्किटो बॉडी ईज नोन ऐज द इनफेक्टिव स्टेज टू ए मस्किटो and generally the infective stage to the mosquito is actually the gametocytes so this is actually infective stage known as a gametocyte and here the point is only gametocytes will not enter into the digestive system of a mosquito or the crop of the mosquito thing is along with the gametocytes the remaining stages of the plasmodium also get enter into the digestive system of mosquito there all includes the trophozoite the signet ring stage there after amoeboid stage and you can see here and one more stage also shy joint stage roget stage along with it the gametocytes also get enters even all these stages they do enter into the mosquito body only the gametocytes here they do remain rest of all of them are get digested by the digestive system of the mosquito the reason for that the gametocyte they do consist of here anti enzymes and they protects this gametocytes from that there you can see then certain kind of anti enzymes are there which protects these gametocytes rest of all the stages as i said here includes trophozoite signet ring stage and amoeboid stage and shy joint stage all of them though they enter they will get digests and next to this when you see here the entire life cycle of this plasmodium in a mosquito body consists of four important stages of all the four important stages the first stage is known as here gametogeny here there in the human beings that we study as gametocytogeny where the gametocytes are formed but here it is a gametogeny where the male and female gametes are formed so this is the first stage of sexual reproduction cycle of the plasmodium that takes place in a mosquito body but the second one is includes the fertilization is the second one you know here the fertilization is nothing but the fusion of male and female gametes and third one is formation of oocyte as well as oocyst oocyte and here oocyst are get formed is the third stage and the fourth stage is actually the formation of sporozoites we call it as sporogony so these are all the four important stages that you can find out gametogony fertilization formation of oocyte with oocyst also then the sporogony i will explain in detail one by one here a step by step now let us see particularly about here the gametogony so gametogony is the first stage of the sexual reproduction of the plasmodium in a mosquito then during this gametogony what happens or what is meant by the gametogony coming to the technical definition of this gametogony formation of gametes simply known as a gametogony here what are the gametes and from the micro gametocyte micro gamete will be produced which is generally a male gamete whereas from a macro gametocyte macro gamete will be produced nothing but a female gamete the entire process of formation of these gametes from the micro and macro gametocytes is technically defined as a gametogony now in this as i said here this actually enter into the mosquito crop in which here ex flagellation takes place ex flagellation is a very important bit ex flagellation takes place in which part in the micro gametocyte resulting of that the male gametes will be formed male gametes in the sense they are all here male sex cells and the number of male gametes that are all produced from each micro gametocyte will be here 4 to 8 in their number next to this from the macro gametocyte macro gamete or female gamete will be produced this is the female gamete from macro gametocyte it produces the important thing the process through which here how these male female gamete it develops from a male ga macro gametocyte is known as maturation is one thing 
the process through which here the male gametes are produced from microgametocyte is known as exflagellation. Keep these two points in the view. And next to this, here the female gametes here forms a fertilization cone. I said initially the female gamete is like this with a nucleus. Thereafter, it get transforms a portion of this one is get here transfers like a cone like hair shape. This cone like hair shape is known as this fertilization cone. And meanwhile here because of the exflagellation the male gametes are produced which are present like this. Right? Long slender structures are get formed. So this is about the gametogony. Once the gametogony is get completed, resulting of which actually the male and female gametes will be formed, the next stage it includes the fertilization. In the fertilization process, male and female gametes are fused with one another. This here process is technically known as the fertilization process. And I said here, the female gamete is present like this with a fertilization cone and it has got the pronuclei and here throughout its body it has got a cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is present here. Whereas the male gamete is a long and here slender like structure. This is the male gamete. So as you know that this is the female as well as this is the male. When this both of them are fused with one another then this entire process is known as the fertilization process. And here this process is known as here anisogamy is an important thing. An isogamy or gummy. And why this is known as an anisogamy? So it depends upon here the size and shape of a gamete that involve in a fertilization process. If at all the size and shape of the male and female gametes are similar and if they get fused with one another then that type of here fusion is known as isogamy. Since the here male gamete and female gametes in this or differ in their shape and structure so that it is known as anisogamy. This similar here the gametes are get fused with one another in this anisogamy. Resulting of which actually the pronuclei, the pronuclei of male, it comes and fuse with a pronuclei of the female. Meanwhile, the cytoplasm of this male is also come and here fuse with a the cytoplasm of the female gamete. This is the thing it takes place. Resulting of that, it forms syncarion. Syncarion will be formed. Now, this syncarion consisting of female gamete now is known as zygote. Here it is zygote. The syncarion consisting the female gamete now is known as a zygote. When the point, if you see, the zygote is in deployed condition. So this is the way how the fertilization takes place within that. Let us see the same process here in a descriptive way. The same thing is mentioned here. See this, the pronuclei of male and female gametes and cytoplasm of male and female gametes, they do get fused. Resulting of here, the fusion of these two, they do form syncarion. Next to this, this kind of fusion is known as an isogamy. Then the meaning of this one, fusion of dissimilar gametes. Thereafter when you see, now resulting of that, a diploid condition, zygote will be formed. Right? This is about the fertilization. Coming to the third stage of this cycle, it includes the formation of uh, here, wookinite with a oocyst. I said after formation of here the zygote, initial time, the zygote is actually circular, it is inactive and non-motile. After 18 to 20 here, 4 hours span of time, when you see, this is get transformed into long, slender, motile and worm like a structure. And that structure is known as here, vermicule. 
वी कॉल दैट ही स्ट्रक्चर एज वर्मिक्यूल और टेक्निकली इट इज नोन एज उइट देन उकी नाइट आफ्टर दिस एटीन टू ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स इट स्टार्ट पायरसिंग मीन्स पेनिट्रेटिंग इन टू द वॉल ऑफ द मस्किटो क्रॉप और द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम देर आफ्टर हियर इट इज गेट सेटल्स एट इट्स अ बेसमेंट मेम्ब्रेन आफ्टर इट गेट सेटल्स एट इट्स अ बेसमेंट मेम्ब्रेन इट सेक्रेट्स ए हियर द सिस्ट अराउंड दैट once the cyst is formed around that we call it as encystation we call that structure is known as oocyst right this is what we call is oocyst and next one here the oocyst when it is here formed near about this is an another important point 50 to 500 number of oocysts are present on the crop of the mosquito this is what actually sir ronald ross is here identified here when his research this is actually the digestive system or the crop of the mosquito when the cyst is formed these cysts are present on the crop like this just like a nodules all these are present on this when you see this number actually this number it ranges from near about 50 to 500 number of here oocysts are present on the crop crop of the mosquito and these are known as oocysts i said in the beginning of the lesson sir ronald ross a british doctor he was lived in the uh, sikindrabad and carried out research on that and he said that the female mosquitoes particularly the anopheles mosquitoes act like a vectors and get to transmit this here the parasite from infected person to the healthy person so by that time he is the person who discovered this crop with this actually cysts so so important person related to this ronald ross he is the first one who discovered all these here the cysts on the crop of a mosquito this is another important thing next one here the sporogony sporogony is actually the fourth stage and that to the asexual stage in the life cycle of the plasmodium in a mosquito then what does this sporo here gony means the formation of sporozoites by the mitotic division of here the entire oocyst is known as a sporogony resulting of which what happens sporozoite oocyst within that here helps for formation of the sporozoites and that point is known as sporogony in this what happens as i said here encysted oocyst it involves in this uh, process resulting of which actually the sporozoites are formed the sporozoites are get formed within that then the sporozoites when they all get produced actually it breaks the entire here sporoblast or sporocyst and from each sporoblast or each sporocyst there are almost all 1000 number of these here sporozoites are get formed this is the point to be noted see this from each sporoblast or each sporocyst or this one the sporocyst when it here breaks down it produces almost all here 1000 sporozoites when these sporozoites are get here released these sporozoites are released into the hemocele of a mosquito thereafter it enter into the salivary glands of the mosquito now in the salivary glands they do wait till this mosquito here bites a other healthy human beings then whenever it bites then the sporozoites are get released into the blood stream of a human beings there in the blood stream they do remain for about half an hour then get, get enter into the liver cells there you know the story here there after right this is all about here the sexual cycle of this plasmodium in a mosquito in the sporogony the two important point to be noted one is except the zygote is one thing wukinite these two stages are in a diploid condition rest of all the stages of this plasmodium is in haploid condition that is one important thing 
thereafter in order to complete the total cycle of this uh, here parasite in the mosquito it takes place near about uh, 16 to 17 days 16 to 17 days time it takes for completion of the entire cycle right with this we concluded the total life cycle of the plasmodium in the man earlier sessions now in the mosquitoes in a detailed way in the coming session i will explain in detail the total incubation period of this hair parasite then how much time it takes place for erythrocytic cycle what are all the stages that involves within the actually uh, the parasite and next one here what is the prevention control and all the things we will study more detail